George Bush may be long gone from Iraq, but the footprint he's left is more literal than just war and occupation. The controversy over the fate of Iraqi journalist Montadar al zaidi will not let up. The 29-year-old correspondent for Baghdadia Television made more than a name for himself Sunday when he hurled insults and shoes at the leader of the world's only superpower. He was immediately taken into Iraqi custody. Now students at this university in Baghdad are expressing anger and concern over his continued detention. We demand his release as soon as possible. He hasn't done something wrong for a guest. He insulted an enemy. Judging by the U.S. president's own recollection, one would not think it's such a big deal anyhow. So what if the guy threw a shoe at me? Well, but that's, that's what happens in free societies where people try to draw attention to themselves. Al Jazeera spoke with Al Zaidi's brother. He claims the stunt has drawn far worse things than mere attention. We know that he has been tortured and his hand was broken. I asked them to go and check on him in the green zone. Supporters of Al Zaidi are hoping the government will show leniency and release the journalist immediately. Our eyes have seen U.S. troops killing women and children without any accountability. So why is Muntadar being held to account for what he has done? For each day he sits in detention, without access to the outside world, the anger and publicity only increases. Clayton Swisher, Al Jazeera.